Oh, Madeline, I wish I saw your message earlier. I feel bad for you here because you're stuck in a bad spot and I could have hopefully um, connected with you and got you a little help quicker. But Madeline's question is, I'm having a hard time finding insight and details on mycophenolic acid. What is it? What does it do to you? How do I get it out of my body? My levels were super high on mycotox and I feel helpless. Um, so Madeline, um, the biggest manufacturer of mycophenolic acid is Penicillium brevicompactum, I think. And that is the mold that pumps out a lot of mycophenolic acid. And mycophenolic acid isn't like a common mycotoxin. It's a byproduct, but it's not like a regular mycotoxin. Now, does that matter? No. Does it come on the list with mycotoxins? Yes. Do we treat it the same? Mostly yes. So I guess number one is you need to realize that this is one of the most uh, immunosuppressive substances on the earth. And you've probably heard me use this story before or explain this before that if someone's getting a organ transplant, it could be lung, liver, kidney, whatever, your doctor could prescribe mycophenolic acid. And yes, it is from mold and they give it to you in little tablet form. And that tablet is to suppress your immune system enough that your immune system doesn't see that new organ. So say it's a kidney, doesn't see that new organ as foreign tissue and come attack it. And then it wrecks your transplant. And that would be a very bad day to find out that happened. So that's how strong mycophenolic acid is that the pharmaceutical companies have taken it, turned it into a handy tablet and use it to crush your immune system. Okay. So our son Isaac had this when he had that moldy window in his room and mycophenolic acid, I don't know what the rank, your range should be zero. I mean, your, uh, you don't, you shouldn't have any in your body, but the range is maybe up to five or something in an average person. Our son Isaac's was 535, which was the highest I had seen for a couple of years. And then I had some clients, one lady was up to 3000 and that was mind blowing. But Mycophenolic acid means you have exposure to this mold. Usually it means you have current exposure. When you get out of, uh, out of that mold exposure, mycophenolic acid on a proper protocol will usually drop relatively quickly. So if you're, if you've been on a mold protocol and it's not shifting, it either means either you still have exposure or the protocol you're on isn't good and it's not moving it. Okay. So the good news is that this is one that can often be cleared relatively well once you're in clean air and on a proper protocol, but it is very immunosuppressive. So this is why uh, when you see when mycophenolic acid is high, you a lot of times you will see those people end up with Lyme, not because it causes Lyme, but because it suppresses the immune system so much that when they get bit by a tick, spider, uh, flea, mite, uh, mosquito, something infected, that the immune system isn't strong enough due to that immunosuppression, depression, that these infections come in and can have their way, have the run of the place. Okay. So it is dangerous in that sense that it uh, handicaps your immune system and it needs to come out. So if you are stuck at any point, feel free to reach out to me. I'll put a link to my website down below because I would love to uh, help uh, figure out where you're at and what your next best step would be to get that mycophenolic down because it should not be high if you're working on it and in clean air. All right, Madeline, hope that helps a little bit. Bye-bye. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, a.k.a. The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing.